Hi everybody, welcome back and today we're gonna be listening to BTS V's Sweet Night. It's a soundtrack for a, a K-drama, that's a K-drama, right? Itaewon Class and I've heard great things about it actually, about the K-drama itself. So maybe that's going to be my first ever K-drama that I'm gonna watch because I haven't seen any of them yet. Uh, we'll see, but yeah, today we're gonna be checking out the song. We'll see what uh, I think about it, how it turned out. Again, since it's a soundtrack, maybe it will sound different from BTS's or V's usual stuff, but yeah, very excited to find out. Let's jump in, but before we do it, as always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and if you want to see my exclusive reactions to BTS Run episodes and BTS Bon Voyage, make sure to check out my Patreon, the link is down below. Very interesting rhythm right here. It f uh. It's not very easy. I feel like it's not very easy to sing to this melody because the guitar, it's um, it's playing like a, a more unusual rhythm. So, and he's singing again. There, the cadence, like the tempo, is matching. Obviously, because otherwise it would sound all over the place. Uh, but yeah, they feel. Like they're not, I'm not sure how to describe it. Like they're, he's singing one melody and the guitar is playing another melody from a different song. That's, that's not actually the case. I hope you know what I mean here. So, nice beginning. It's just the guitar, something. Some vocal, uh, some sound effects on his voice to make it sound a little bigger. That's nice. Reminding me of scenery so far and four o'clock. Who is that? Uh, uh. Oh, there's a girl singing as well, together with him. Right? Oh, huh. Right, so in this part, it was definitely easier for me to kind of feel the rhythm of the song. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out if that's a girl, a female vocalist, or him going very, very high in his range and singing, like doing another vocal track. I think that's someone else. So it definitely sounds a lot like scenery. Mm hmm. Especially this little break without any words and just the melody.
<laughs> no, now I think it's him. It's him doing another vocal track going higher in his range, doing an octave higher thingy. I, mm-hmm. Octave I harmony. So, so. So this song, you know what's interesting? Even though it's very, very gentle, right? It's soothing, it's slow, but it feels like very rich with sound, if you know what I mean. It feels pretty powerful because um i think it has to do with uh, the arrangement of the instruments uh for the background music so the guitar here they introduce some bass let's listen yeah this bass makes such a huge difference It feels very full. The sound is so full. Mm. The melody on his voice is outstanding. This is a very pleasant addition. It's like some some breathing time for us to refresh our senses. It's very pretty. Ah. Oh. oh oh, and I just noticed there's a what is it? A violin or? It's a violin, I think. A music break here. No lyrics. Oh, oh, that's the end. Mm. That's the end. And we still have... What did they include? Oh, they... Uh, oh, right, right, there's something. There's some original music. Okay. Right, so let's uh, read the lyrics now. Wow, wow. Yeah, now it's way easier to get the rhythm and the flow of the song because in the, in the very beginning, the first time I was listening to it, I was kind of confused because I, I felt like it was faster than what it actually is. I thought it was going to be something like in that sort of rhythm. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, what am I doing? I'm listening. I'm listening again. It's so good. I forgot to look at the lyrics. I'm listening. It's a female vocalist singing together with him in the beginning right here, but then in the second part, that's him. Is that the case? Oh. I really can't figure this out because it sounds like kind of like him, but more as a different person. So you guys will probably let me know. I'm sure you know. You Google it. So I'm trying to figure out this line. I think, so the way I understand it so far, uh, he's singing uh, about, well, it's not about Taeyong and someone else. It's just like the story of the song. So he's singing about someone else who was a friend in the beginning, but then he started feeling more towards that person too good to be true, like, he really likes them, uh, would it be alright if I pulled you closer? How could I know one day I'd wake up feeling more, so feeling more feelings towards the, uh, that person? Uh, yeah, wait, I'm gonna restart my camera here. I didn't want to cut myself in the middle of the phrase right, uh, like this, but, uh, I saw the timing limit was approaching, the time limit, so... Uh, right, and then... So this part, I think I get it, and I just shared what I think, but uh, but I had already reached the shore, because we guess we were ships in the night. So I'm trying to figure out what this means. Uh, like ships, they're in the sea, They then they reach the shore, they become stationary. Ah. Ah, da, 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 da. What does that mean? We got feeling more. Ah, reach the shore. Like there's. Hmm. Like he wants. T he wants to. Pull that person closer and let the feelings develop, but he already reached the shore and he cannot 
move forward with that relationship, something like that. I'm still not sure. to be someone singing together with him. I hear a female voice right there somehow. Okay, so here we have the music break. Interesting now. Right, so yeah, that's understandable. It has a um, like more of an unusual song structure. We got Verse chorus, verse chorus, and that's it. No bridge, no third chorus. But again, yeah, that's okay because that's a soundtrack for the K drama. So, okay, now I have to kind of gather my thoughts. The song, musically, melodically, it was very, very good. I liked it uh, so much. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. His voice complemented the melody so well. I'm a fan, uh, it was very rich, so much texture, and again, the music, especially when that bass came in, it felt very, very full without being too loud, too, too powerful, too energetic, it was just, yeah, the mixing, all the levels of the instruments, amazing, outstanding. Lyrically, I, I try to kind of understand it more and figure them out, but, uh, still not sure about the core message of the song but I feel like I'm on the right track and I think this is his first ever song in English so only English lyrics but I'm gonna be honest with you at places I thought he was singing in Korean because like he didn't have an accent while singing but it's just the way he was pronouncing the words to make it more melodic uh, I, I couldn't hear it that well so yeah, great, great, really enjoyed it once again. It had um, like a mixed feel between scenery, winter bear places, uh, and, so, and four o'clock, yeah, I mentioned that one as well. So yeah, really, really enjoyed this one. I like songs with this type of mood, like sadder, slower songs. So definitely going to be listening to this one a lot. So now, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell. And I'll see you all ever and later in my next one. As always, take care, keep listening to great music, and love.